What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the James and James Show. Now today we're working on getting this 1968 396 Chevelle back up and running so we can go to a cruise in down at Power Sports of America. Now this old Chevelle's been sitting for quite a while. It's got cobwebs, dirt and dust and everything else underneath the hood. The carburetor's leaking. The brakes aren't perfect. And who knows what else is wrong with this thing. We're going to try to get it fixed up and ready to go for tonight. Now our first order of business is getting this carburetor taken apart and see exactly what our problems are. And that didn't take long. You can see how nasty everything is inside these bowls. I got the bowls pulled off. You can see all the rust in there, probably out of the gas tank. A lot of dirt and stuff from over the years. No telling the last time these were taken apart. Here's the back one. It's got a notch float for the jet extensions. It's as bad, if not worse. So we'll see if we can get this thing cleaned up and get to the cruise in. We got the bowls all cleaned out. I swapped some smaller jets in it as it's running a little bit fat. We checked all the oil and transmission fluid, everything looked great. We're gonna run it up the road, put some gas in it, and then take it by the car wash. Cousin Justin's helping me out today, so I'm following him up the road just in case we have any problems with the car. I haven't drove it in a while, so you never know what can happen. We got it pulled in the gas station here. We're ready to put some gas in it. The Chevelle's covered in dust and dirt, so we're running down to the car wash to get everything sprayed off. I'm trying to make it look like something for the cruise in. It ain't no show car, but we at least want to get it cleaned up. Justin gets all the old dirt and dust sprayed off of this thing trying to make it look like something. I think we spent about $45 in quarters trying to get this thing cleaned up. Man was it nasty. kind of a family day my cousin Cameron came over he put the old slick mist on it and the tire shine I got Aria out in the shop with me today she's keeping the company and making sure we do a good job cleaning everything up right what you doing what you doing after a little time and some elbow grease we got this Chevelle cleaned up and ready to go to the cruise in baby Aria definitely approves so we made it out to Power Sports of America. It was the first time I'd been in there and checked out their showroom. This place is pretty awesome. They got a little bit of everything you could ever want. They got several different brands. I believe Polaris, Can-Am, Honda, and Kawasaki. 
had a lot of old school stuff as well on display. Now Alex, she's still a little camera shy, but we're working on that. Check out this old Honda Big Red. Now that's what I'm talking about. Or how about this display of 250Rs up top? It's street box, four wheelers, three wheelers, four by four side by sides, six by six side by sides. But this one here, this is my favorite. Two stroke 350cc Banshee. Mean machine. Beacon Dragway had the Copo Camaro on display on the showroom floor. They got it pulled out, did some long smoky burnouts for us. So tomorrow at Beacon Dragway, at Beyond 660 No Prep event, the Copo Camaro's got a little grudge race. It's going to be running this GT500 Carbon Track Edition Mustang. Now I don't know if this Mustang's got what it takes to get it done on a no prep surface. But I do know one thing. He's got enough brakes to stop the whole event if he wants to. I'm ready to see this thing make some laps at the track. It ought to be an awesome show. Checking out all the cars at the cruise in, I noticed my buddy Steve Swain was getting pretty rowdy out there on a turbo razor. I tracked him down, I told him I had to go for a ride. And boy, was this thing impressive. What are we filming here today, Ryan? I was going to put it on YouTube, I don't even know. Around in a turbo cycle, so it's here at Power Sports of America. So I can foot break it up to about four grand. Oh. After having a blast checking out Fire Sports America, seeing all the awesome cars and talking with everybody, it was time to cruise on back home. I was just enjoying the old back roads in the Chevelle. Now I got a little bit of work to do on this thing still. We're having some charging and battery problems, but nothing major. 10 out of 10 on fun factor. If you haven't been out to Fire Sports of America, I encourage you to go. The sound of old big block and 40 series flow masters, that's a sound that never gets old.
uh, don't forget to go like and subscribe. We appreciate everybody watching. Until next time. Thanks, everybody.